So after 10 years in Philadelphia, Jacob Voracek gets traded back to the Columbus Blue Jackets today in a deal that involves Cam Atkinson going the other way to Philadelphia. It's pretty weird to see two divisional rivals swap star players one for one. I do think Jacob Voracek uh, against Cam Atkinson is the better player. He's shown to be the more consistent point producer in his career. Philly may be wanting to clear out a bit of cap space though. He does make 8.25 million for the next three years Voracek does, whereas Atkinson has one more year longer than that left on his contract at four years, but he makes 5.875 mil for those next four years, so maybe that's what Philly was looking at also. I'm a bit shocked Columbus would make this trade because it almost seems like they're in a bit of a rebuild mode, retool mode, so to speak, so to see them get a guy like Voracek is pretty weird. I thought maybe if they were gonna deal a guy like Cam Atkinson, Maybe they would get like a, you know, future assets back in return for them, like draft picks or prospects or something like that. But no, it's just one for one. You know, it's not uh, Atkinson, maybe a third or fourth line player from Philly and some prospects or something like that. It's Cam Atkinson to Philadelphia for Jacob Voracek, one for one. So I don't really understand quite why Yarmil Kekalainen would do this deal. As I said, it looks like they're going down the path of the rebuild judging by some of the recent moves they've made. But maybe he feels they can be a competitive team and that's why he traded for Voracek. And I think Columbus gets the better player in this deal. I like Jacob Voracek better than Cam Atkinson as far as skill goes. I think Voracek has more potential to, you know, rediscover his game, so to speak, in Columbus. Maybe he does that, maybe he doesn't. Uh, the cap hit is a bit risky because he has been declining a little bit the last couple years, but it could just be a rough patch in his career, and who knows, maybe he'll be on his way this year. So one for one, I think Columbus does win the trade, but I don't really get it for Columbus. You know, I, I like I said earlier, I think they were, or I thought they were trying to rebuild this thing, or at least retool, but they go out and they get Jake Voracek, so go figure that one. But as far as the trade goes one for one, I have to pick Columbus as the winner. So those are my thoughts on this deal, guys. Please let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.